Alrighty folks, it's been a while since I've uh, posted an update on the old truck, but I've uh, been busy working on wiring. Now we have turn signals and running lights. The headlights work, I just don't have them on right now. Got the new taillights in with turn signals. These will be the running lights and that's gonna be brake and turn. Looks like when it's not flashing. Hard to mess, but it's been uh, hectic in here with all these wires. I had to get the turn signal wiring figured out for the original turn signal. And LED relays. So they had to reverse the pol polarity on because they weren't flashing at first. Light switch all hooked up. Ignition's all hooked up. And this is one of those uh, universal hot rod rewire kits that does the whole truck. So I got my ignition and everything hooked up. All the lights are working. Now I just got to get this nightmare cleaned up and start installing the gauge wiring and hooking up stuff like the, the four-way switch and the heater control and all that good stuff. Also got the, the bed fully bolted down. It's just pressure treated. I should have stained it first probably, but it's gonna be a resto mod rat rod slash actually used as a pickup. So I'm not too worried about the uh, condition of the wood per se. Uh, started painting the doors. Got the dash painted a while back. Went with like a satin black. And uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty soon I gotta figure out why there's such a huge section of steering shaft here. So I don't think that's original unless somebody slid this thing downward in the past. Because when I put the steering wheel on. <laughs> gap there. Same with the factory steering wheel. Well, that's it.